So today's project only has two supplies. We have our berry garland, our pine garland, and then we have our wire wreath. So the garland that I purchased had a bunch of pine cones that you're going to want to cut off with a wire cutter. And we're going to save this for later to attach once our garland is secure to our form. And then I want to secure your pine to the wire form on one end. I actually had to cut down this garland into two halves. So this first half, I am securing the end that I cut. And as you can see, I'm folding the pine into the middle. Now this pine actually had two different kinds of pine needles, the skinny ones like this and then the thicker ones. So the thicker ones I'm folding into the middle and I'm using the skinny needles to wrap around and secure the whole garland to the first section of the, um, of the wire form. And you're going to repeat this step all the way around. So I would say about every couple of inches, you just go around and take your skinny pieces of garland and secure that to the wire form so that way the more fluffier pieces are visible. So once you do that at first half, you're going to come across this box that would have been used to hang the garland, but I'm going to actually loop it through one of the wires and tuck it away because I want to use it to hang the wreath. So once you get finished with your first layer, you're going to fold all of the fluffy pine needles into the middle and we will fluff those later. We're going to keep these skinny pine needles out so we can secure the two layers together. Moving on to the second layer, you're going to want to start this layer basically where you stopped on your first layer. So right where the cord um, sticks out. So and we're just going to secure this the same way that we did the first layer using the skinny pine needle and looping that through the wire and then using it to wrap around the wire and secure it to the ring. And since this was a starting part of my second layer, I really wanted to make sure it was secure. So once I was done and repeated that around, I just went ahead and fluffed all of my fluffy pine needles, as you can see, and got it to cut the shape. I wanted it to look very natural and traditional, a wreath you would buy from the store. Now that we have everything secure, we're going to get our berry garland and tie it on one end. And basically, you're just going to cut, or sorry, tuck. <laughs> you're going to tuck the berries into the garland and space them out kind of naturally. I think they did a good job of spacing out the berries on this line, but um, you're just going to want to twist and turn your pine needles to kind of nestle the berries in between, if that makes sense. Um, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about at the same time. And then once you get your entire garland um, all the way around, you're going to take your pine cones that we cut off earlier and we kept the wire on, and you're just going to secure these around your wreath with the wire that's already attached to them. So I think I ended up with about six or seven pine cones that were taken off that were about the same size. So I just kind of spaced them out and laid them out around the garland to make it look natural. And I also used the wire that came on top of the pine cone to also secure the berry garland to the pine needles. And 
then once you achieve the desired look that you want with your wreath, you can go ahead and hang it on your door and this project is pretty much done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a short one this time around, but I just wanted to give you guys a real quality video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.